Hi, it's Chris and thank you for joining me today. I'm doing a landscape today with a really stormy, dramatic sky over green hills. It's a 40 by 30 canvas. For the sky, I'm using three flip cups. I'm going to pull in different directions and swirl the sky. So I'm going to do that part first and then I'll let it sit and then I will do the land. These are going to be straight flip cups. I may add a swipe in this lower part. We'll see how it comes out. Once it's dry, I may add some more details. This is the colour palette that I've used for the painting. So for the sky colours, I'm using five different shades of um, blue and grey. I'm using a Payne's grey, you can see it's very dark, a cerulean blue and the sky blue light. And then I've custom mixed two other blues that will sit in between those. The land part, going to be using various different greens for it. I layer the colours of my three sky cups and if you want to see my thinking behind how I choose my colours and any other tutorial videos, I'll put a link at the top of the screen to my playlist where all my tutorial videos are stored. One. Two. Ha ha ha. Sorry, I feel like the count from Sesame Street. Three. Good, good. Good luck guys. You can see I'm going to put it that way, that way and this one down. The cups are quite deep so I'm going to leave them sitting for a while to let all the paint drain down. Lovely. Air bubbles. I'm not going to torch them. Oh, look at that interaction. That was the interaction I was hoping with the sky blue light. This one's come down a bit low. So I'm just going to push it up a bit. I'm using the rest of the paint in the cups. I'm just going to cover the canvas. So I'm going to be swelling this around. This one's determined to come down. I kind of evened it up a bit. So I've done the sky, I'm going to let that sit. I might do the land part tomorrow, there's a lot of paint on there still. So I just let it dry, but I just love this sweep. It's looking fantastic. It's the following day and I'm working on the land. So I'm doing the first flip cup, tilting it, and then I'll add the second flip cup going in the opposite direction.
add in of some hints of red. That's just going to dry, dry dark. Thinking kind of poppies, I'm going to paint the top of the hill a bit darker and add some more darks up here. But I've got to leave it now because there's so much paint on here, I'm just muddying it. But I've just been playing around a bit. When the canvas was dry, I decided to add a summer meadow. So I started off with adding some grasses and knocked back the hills a bit. And then I flicked on with paint some of the flowers. You can see how I do this in my video, 132, creating a summer meadow. I'll put a link at the top of the screen. I really love the contrast between the really beautiful stormy brooding sky and then you've got this jolly summer meadow at the bottom. It really pleases me. The paintings turned out really well and I'm really happy. I really hope you've enjoyed the process of me creating this painting. I want to say a big thank you to everyone who leaves comments and gives likes. It's always appreciated. Do take care and I'll speak to you soon. Bye.